You know, our world has never really been quite the same since 8.46 a.m. on September 11, 2001. And for family members who lost loved ones that day, it was life shattering. But a Kettering woman has found a way to make something positive from the pain. And it's what's working in the Miami Valley. On a sunny September morning in the Miami Valley, lives are changing. I'm just going thankful. Thank you. The Enriquez family has a new home, thanks to Habitat for Humanity. And volunteer Tracy Janice has one more reason to smile. Oh, this is great. And always nice to do something in the month of September. It was a sunny September morning 12 years ago that Tracy's life changed forever. Her little sister Christy died in the World Trade Center attacks on 9-11. Christy was just 30 years old, and the sisters had just celebrated her wedding. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think of her and that I don't miss her, and I miss what our future would have been. In her grief, she found secret smiles, literally. That's the name of the nonprofit Christy started in New York City to provide beds to children without. Tracy opened a Dayton chapter, and that's why she and the other board members are here today. Secret Smiles provides beds and bedding to all the local Habitat homes. The story of 9-11 is not one of tragedy in our minds. It's one of the power of love and the power of giving. So every time we donate a bed, I feel a part of her with me at all times. They're making a difference. Through their fundraising, they've been able to donate more than 3,500 beds, cribs, and bedding to Dayton area families. It's been a blessing to everyone. 3,500 and counting. 3,500 and counting. That's a great way to put it. But the story doesn't end there. Both Christy and her sister were UD graduates, and Secret Smiles has just partnered with a very special group of women at the university. That part of the story is coming up tonight on 2 News at 10 on Dayton CW and right back here at 11 o'clock.